Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today is another day driving with Simon to uh, go to uh, Camberdale to do the job today. Did you remember of the uh, silly cars? Silly cars. So I got my. So I have to go urgently. I don't have my uh, water. I just got my water and I have no coffee. No coffee yet. But uh, do you remember of the uh, starter motor in the car there? What I have to do is uh, today sit back, relax, and driving with me. Well, waiting for the car to warm up. And uh, before mostly every second weeks, this is my sad face. Mostly every second weeks, that much medicine I have to go and grab. That's all the script from my wife and from my mom and from my dad. So we had a lot of sweeps here. Mostly every two weeks, got to go and get some medicines before I go to work. Otherwise, when I put my hand in to go to work and uh, I forgot what I'm gonna get, and uh, when I go home late sometime in the afternoon and uh, have no medicine. So now I'm driving to Bureau and left the script there, and maybe I buy medicine and I let them do delivery for us. We we are very regular customer, so they all know us. So that bookies and uh, on the way go, we may uh, pull over, have a cappuccinos on the run again. Simon is always hurry because uh, that's in my working hours. Always hurry. mostly everything I got my one pie and I tried the pie here today in the last episode I tried a pie and now I try a, a pie in bureau it's a it's not a bad pie but the pastry is not as good but uh, so hungry I ate them and tried them buy something and uh, medicine over there and now I have to do is go back home Okay, let's look at I on the run, eat and driving to work. And I tell you what, the pie, the mint tastes a little bit sour. <coughs> and the pastry, it not pops, and it's super thin. You know, the technique for the pastry is, um, normally we do best pastry, we do 60% pastry, 40% flowers. But this one, again, and then we turn, um, if it's too much, we chop down to 50-50. That means 50% of flour, 50% of pastry, of pastry. But this one, it look like 20% <coughs> of pastries and 80% um, is flowers. When 
when you eat the flowers, the top of pastry on the top, you still smell the flowers. So that means fell. And the bottom, same same thing. When they cook and they make extra heat to make the pie boiling and burn underneath quicker. And you know what? You will see the burn underneath the bottom. Here I show you the pie that it fell. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying bad or anything. It's a little bit sour. And what we are today, we eat the pies and compare with my brother pie is way, way different. Okay? And you see the pies. And this is the cheese and bacon. You see the burn. And the top pastry is not pop at all because I put the cheese and um, on the top. They put cheese on the top to make the um, You see, the outside look burnt, but the inside, of the, the flowers, where the meat go in, it not cook. You can smell raw flowers in your mouth, and that will create the meat sour. The meat a little bit sour, but the meat is too fine. The meat is really fine. Not a not a chunky mint and the gravy like my brother pies. I'm not advertising some of my brother, but this is the bacon pie. But if you go around Australia, New South Wales, around here, no one can beat this pie. But today I tried this pies because I want to see the difference on my brother pie yesterday. And uh, see, they're using foil. My brother not using foil, but he cooks slowly, and the base. It's not wet, you can hold it by your hand and the pop pastry on the top is really popped. That's what I meant yesterday. If you eat pies, the pastry and the top is not combined together, doesn't matter how, how good your meat is, okay? The bacon, it's not a real bacon. This is the processed bacon. This is nice bacon making by mostly flowers. It's not 100% bacon like we use in our shop. We use diced bacon 100%. And you see the bacon is not real because it's red, see? It's sort of like ham. It's sort of like ham made like a um, dog food or the cat food. The ham, they go red. So, but they're using the, yeah, we know, we know this one because there are so many different kinds of uh, diced bacon. And you see the meat are so small. You see the base I'm talking about, it's not cooked here. See the roll here? But when you, when you eat, the seed will a little bit burn. That's why, and uh, this is the base, right? Uncooked. And this one, uncooked inside, but outside they burn. They're using their desktop oven. They make super heat. The shorter they are, the better for them. Because if they cook long, and they don't do it properly, they put too long in the oven, the pie will spill out and all the meat will come out and the pie will look very yucky but this is the technique for cooking this pie for many years I know because I in the bakery so many years I know and now you can't hold my hand you see and I'm so hungry man I have to finish you can't throw things away not rude you know see I cook bakery Sorry, I eat on the run. No time.
mother. And the good pie, when you eat, you swallow. Swallow down, you will see and smell the pastry. It's go down all the way. This one, they don't go down anywhere. They just swallow down and it disappear. And you feel salty in your throat because the pie is salty. <coughs> so, that one thing, if you don't trust me, you go to Biron. Grab a pie and try every single pie over there and go to Saxon Inlet and test my brother pies in Saxon Inlet. You will see the difference. Because um, original Australian meat pies, people eat pies not holding the foil, right? They're holding hand without foil. But if you know good technique in the pastry, the bottom ones, you fail. After Asian Vietnamese especially came to Australia and making copy baking pies. And they got their own ingredients and making foil. So reckon the foil will be good. But um, the foil, if you make the pastry like this, you never make it cook and the pastry will be raw. So the burn outside, but the inside where the meat is, super raw. Because they're using the wrong base and top pastry, pop pastry. The top have to be pops, the base have to be hot, thick, and taste like biscuit. When you swallow them in, they, when you enjoy the top bit crunchy, the bottom one, sop it out, and swallow with the meat, that combined. That's combined. Go to Saxon and test the pie like I ate last time, you will see the difference. No booze, no advertising or anything. That's why I said in Sydney, when I go eat the pies, I cannot eat. But this pie is one of the most famous one. Everyone must know Biron pies. But that's how it is. The, um, the ingredient mix, there are so many different brands, different company mix. But in the pre pie pre-mix, they call Baco, Baco or um, Allies, or Serfom. They got three different ones. But the Bakel or Bako is one of the most expensive one. It's called Pie Remix. So um, Pie Remix have to go together with the pie seasoning. So they are very good brand. They got um, great, you know, the pie seasoning is sort of like, look black like the um, pepper. But it's not. It make the pie turn to gravy. So that's how the pie make. Okay. And if you're using the wrong stuff, you can tell straight away different. And um, that's why taste when you try eat, swallow in, is a little bit sour. For me, I say sour. Okay, it doesn't taste good at all. For everyone's opinion, because some other pies, like I don't want to be rude again, like I said, the meat, nothing. The gravy, no gravy. It's like put bloody um, corn flour, corn flour tarts, make it stay together. It's like a jelly, and the pastry is completely terrible. It's even worse than this one. And uh, that's why we fail, fail. We test all the pies, we fail. So that's it, that's how I enjoy pies, okay? And uh, now keep continue driving to work. So far, I got another 10K to go and it will be 20 minutes to get there. Keep driving, man.
Oh, brother! In the job site, put my bloody phone down, and we start to do some work. And uh, oh shit, man, this door not working on me. I have to fix them, but uh, no time, you know. Simon can fix it, but no time. Hello, young man. Start a motor here, man. You out? Did you touch the battery, man? What's up, Benja? The new battery or charging up the batteries? Now, quickly, I put them on. Oh, make sure you put everything on, and you are bingos, okay? So we got off, and we got positive, negative. Check them before we put on. And um, the starter motor, we just slide on here. Okay, just slide on there. And uh, this connection, they gave me extra because they different motor starter motor. It from the latest uh, starter motor. The original flag from the other starter motor, but this is from the uh, latest starter motor. So we try to light them on if they all the same line. And then before we cut this one, enjoy the wire for this one. So they go straight in here. So different flux, but they're all the same. It could fly uh, sometimes. Sometimes they are right. So what I do is uh, hook them on and uh, find the up wire. Make sure you got a good up wire, okay? The up wire from the other one, up. Punch on the jaws because uh, it's very hard to get your ratchet or spanner go in there. So what you do if you don't really be lazy like Simon, you get number 12 and do that crossbar that holding again the wall here and you'll be right, but I'm lazy, so I do it one by one turn and got it in, and um, we'll be all right. So, um, the reason for starter motor play up is uh, because the exhaust here and the starter motor here, I forgot my insulation. I should make another insulation here because when the motor fan is spinning and it sucks out all the heat from the, uh, you know, from the radiator and they build up the pressure and it get very hot so that's why the engine when this will run this old technique the starter motor get really hot put the bolts on and um, last one to go but do not overturn the main one where the starter motor i don't want it overturned because when you turn the leg inside where the holding near the solar noise will be crack out and you're in trouble so now we put the battery in and try to start see what happens and moment of truth, we try to start, okay? We try to start, see if it works. Simon is the King Kong. Beautiful. Sound good. Oh, smoke coming out everywhere. And at least one kick, the engine starts straight away. That's the good news. Look, they are very healthy and strong starter motor. One kick starts straight away. Beautiful, beautiful Simon. All we have to do is put the um, ball back here for buckets here and there, and we'll be right. Okay, pack up and uh, ready to go home. And uh, the atmosphere, I like this one because you can have a free fresh air from here and the building live there. People can leave the car park here and uh, it's like very natural, naturally. Very nice. Help! Help! No one can hear me.
And uh, thanks for watching Simon 2 and finally we are home from city the atmosphere different right we are here more freedom see ya